Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to show how to update Citrix workspace application on your computer. So it is really important to update Citrix workspace application on your end user device in order to connect to the Citrix environment properly without any issues. So uh, if the Citrix, Citrix workspace application is already installed on your computer or laptop, what you need to do is you need to click on the small arrow here and just right click on Citrix workspace. So this is the Citrix workspace application. Just right click on it and you see an option called check for updates. Okay. It is called check for updates. Click on check for updates. So once you click on check for updates, it is going to show if there is any update available for Citrix workspace. So if you see here, there is a Citrix workspace update available, which is 22.4.1.62. Okay. So there is a latest version which is available. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on download. So please make sure that your device is connected to the internet to download the software. So right now it is in the process of downloading the latest version of Citrix workspace. So once this is downloaded, we can run the installation. We can install it. So this process might take a minute. So please bear with me. So whichever end user device you are on, you can follow the same process. If you are on Citrix, I mean, if you are on Mac OS or if you are on Windows, eight operating system or 10 or 11, you can follow the same process. So I've come across issues where users had, you know, issues connected to the Citrix applications, launching Citrix applications, especially when Citrix workspace is not up to date. Okay, it's almost there. All right, it seems like the uh, download has been completed. Okay, let's run the installation. I'm going to click on install. Okay, it is going to install the updates. So once the installation is completed, if the installation is completed successfully, you need to restart your device. You need to restart your laptop or desktop. Okay, it is installing the update slowly. So if you are an end user, if you are a user and if you're working on some office computer, office laptop or desktop, and if you don't have permissions to, if you, if it is, you know, if you don't have the access to, you know, install the software, I mean, download and install the software. In that case, you may have to contact your uh, IT support or help desk, whatever you call it. Uh, the, the, you know, IT people who have access to your machine so that they can connect and they can download and install the software on your computer. We are almost there. So whenever you're updating Citrix workspace, uh, you know, once the installation is completed, if you're trying to connect from uh, uh, Google Chrome or Microsoft Edge or any other browser, just make sure that even the browsers are up to date. You know, sometimes what happens is like, you know, we 
keep updating Citrix Workspace application. But if you know some users like to connect from Google Chrome and they have some issues, you know, connecting to the, to the Citrix environment from Google Chrome, so make sure that even the browsers are up to date. If if the browser has a latest version available, install install it as well. All right, seems like uh, it is uh, doing something. At any point in time, if you get any error message while installing the, you know, while installing the Citrix Workspace application, in that case, uh, you know, you, can, you may need to contact your IT support or help desk to get some assistance. It is definitely doing something. So let's wait and see what is going to happen. All right, let's see. Thank you for your patience. Please bear with me while it gets installed. Okay, it says installation successful. Citrix Workspace current version, current release 22.4.1.62 has been installed successfully. Okay, restart your computer to complete the installation. Okay, I'm going to click OK. So once you click OK, it is going to restart the machine. So once the machine gets restarted, you can connect to the Citrix environment without any issues okay i really hope you find this information helpful thank you for watching i will catch you in the next video bye bye